This has to be the biggest thing I have ever built, and I will never finish it. Let me tell you why. Hi, my name is Calvin, and let me introduce you to a project that I've been working on in the background for an entire year. This is the capital. It all started with an idea. I wanted a long-term project, something that would push me to build bigger and better. So I said, let's make a huge medieval fantasy city. I created a basic landmass for the capital in World Painter and used World Edit to continue the terraforming. I had a vision and I was committed to make it happen. Things were going well. Time went by and I had planned the perfect layout for my city. I even wrote down an extensive lore to help me build. Because if anything, what I wanted the most was for the builds to tell a story. I don't want to bore you too much with the details, but it's important for you to know that the city of the Highborn is divided into three different districts, each one separated by great walls. The first one is the district by the docks, where people work every day with the ships that come in and out non-stop. The houses are simple, cheaper, and most of them are workshops. The district and the commerce of the Highborn is guarded and administrated by the dock mansion and the wealthy family that inhabits it. The following district is the District of the Gate. This is the most visited one by outsiders for its easy access through the only land entrance, guarded by a big gate, there for its name, and the markets abound since people come in and out to get goods for their families every day. The last district is the Religious District. The wealth of this one is distinctive as showcased by each house made entirely out of the most refined stone. They are in direct contact with the giant cathedral where they worship their god, named the All-Giving One. In the center lies a statue to their bishops, one that gives and one that takes. As you can see, the story played a huge important role during all this building, but it was still missing something. We needed a ruler, someone to control the entirety of the Highborn city. At that moment, the royal family came to play with its massive and majestic castle, becoming the jewel of the crown that the city was missing. But the royal family not only ruled over the Highborn, they ruled over the entire capital. And what do I mean by that? Well, what you've seen so far is just one city. In total, there will be seven. Seven different cities, with different civilizations coexisting in the capital, living one next to the other with conflicts and stories that interconnect all of them. I told you this project was big, but hang on, why am I telling you everything about this project if I said I was never going to finish it? To explain this, come with me on a walk through the city. The Highborn city is done, and I'm incredibly happy with all the districts we've made, the houses with their interiors, the cathedral with its tall spires, and the castle. I... I have no words for the castle. But can you see what's missing? Most of my builds are ancient abandoned places, and there's a reason for that. Minecraft is great in so many ways, but when it comes to bringing life into a build, well, then it's not that great. And no matter how many details I add, this build feels very empty. And it's a city, it's supposed to be crowded with people living their lives. In my vision, the entire city is filled with NPCs, stories, guests, and real players that all together can breathe life into the capital. In all honesty though, I don't have the skills, knowledge, or even time to create those things in Minecraft. And that's the reason why I'm certain that this project will never be completely finished. However, it's not over yet. I will not let any of that bring me down. I am committed to building the other six cities all around the capital. Even if they end up empty just like this one, I am very proud of the city that I managed to build in this past year, and I am very excited to see how the others will turn out. The next one will be the city of the Golden Dwarves. I have so many fun ideas for this underground civilization, and of course I would also love to hear yours. In the end, my vision might never completely become a reality, but I won't stop because every story written and every new block placed 
brings it all a step closer to becoming the capital. So, thank you very much for coming on this journey with me. I hope you like the capital as much as I do. This has been Calvin, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.